If you guys notice in the comments section, this guy always pops up, whether it's my video, a Mighty Car Mods video, or forget <laughs> anything. This guy's always in the comment section of every car video, I think, on the internet. This is Aaron from 802 Garage. What's up, everybody? Listen, I watch entirely too much YouTube. I don't just comment with no. I, I, if I comment, I probably watch the whole video, <laughs> which gives you an idea of just how much time I spend watching. Oh videos. yeah, that's that's the thing I found out. It's it's hard to actually film anything when you're watching just all the other videos that are out there. And yep. Hard to keep up. And that's why I went on a road trip to counter my internet addiction. But uh, yeah. so I'm here in California, I'm normally in Vermont. I'm literally at opposite end of the countries and opposite ends of the country. And Ryan was nice enough to let me stop by and see his yeah. super cool project. I've been a long time fan. I've been well, coming oh, for like shit. two years on your videos. Yeah, 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 that's right. Something like that. I think you've, been, you've been commenting since before I had an Instagram, I think? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was probably one of your first Instagram followers. So. Like, oh crap, he's got pictures on the internet. <laughs> yep. Check and it out. So anyway, I, uh, I uh, was like, hey, you want me to be in your video real quick? And here I am, and uh, I'm going to make a video feature on my channel, and so if you, if you really love initial DIY mods, you can go check that out. Oh, yeah. Um, but otherwise, I don't know, I think this build is super cool, and if y'all are as impressed as I am by, you know, the typical, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and uh, I don't know, just support this guy, because he's awesome, and you don't see projects like this on YouTube every day. And oh, yeah. heck, he makes projects. <laughs> he makes progress faster than Project Binky, right? So. Oh my God! Yeah. Man. No offense. I know that. Well, I know that project is like perfect. It's theirs, like way nicer Different than level, mine. But and their mini is way minier than mine. But yeah, it's been like a thousand way years. Way minier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this is cool, and it already made boost and did things and was all wheel drive. Yeah. So. And no, definitely check out his channel as well if you haven't. 802 Garage. He's always in the comments, but obviously there's a link in the description. Yeah. He's got a crazy V10 swap that he's doing in a little Subaru. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit uglier than your swap and not sleeper, but it's gonna be. I feel like Subarus though have to be uglier because they're just. Oh. They're full of <laughs> rust, but they're just the best kind of rust. Yeah, I did drive a '93 Impreza here that's like more rust than body, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> so there's gonna be V10 and a GC Impreza, and I've also got an MR2 that's eventually gonna get us our 20 swapped. That's right. And then I've also got. What's your progress on the on the MR2? Right now. Nothing. But it's there. You got a bare chassis. I did get new wheels for it to sit on because the old wheels, the tires didn't hold air and I don't want it to sink into the ground. <laughs> so it's got some nice new Kose wheels with some oversized tires and some hub spacers and new lug nuts. And oh shit. One day, it'll be awesome. But I also have my GSX, which has one of these except it's a seven bolt, so uh, crank walk. Yeah. Um, but I do have a seven bolt Eclipse GSX that I did just get running and it's very close to driving. I just have to fix a couple. Uh, bolt holes that are stripped. Which bolt, that's you know typical. About. Oh yeah, no, I found. Well, <laughs> DSM <I'm>, owners. <laughs> what's what's the torque spec on that? A thousand? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's the it, biggest breaker bar you can hang on. Click. Um, but uh, so and the uh, click was a stripping sound. Yep. <laughs> as soon as that's fixed, and as soon as I put on a radiator and an inner boy, it'll drive again. So. Oh yeah. Well, at least that sounds like that one should be up and running a bit faster than your other project cars. Definitely. But at least you've got like a variety. Like I do one car build. And I want to like get it to a point where I can like leave it alone to do another car build. Yeah, like, I don't think I, can, I don't have like land in Vermont to just store cars. Cars on your just, lawn. Just exactly. Just yeah. like we just put like a <laughs> what is it? What are they called? Shipping container? You just like hey, that one's not mine. No, but there is actually <laughs> there is actually a truck trailer on my land for a it's for a business that my mom runs. Not mine, but it would be if I needed more space for. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for letting me stop by, man. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Appreciate you saying that. Uh, everybody, like the video, hit the bell if you haven't, all that good stuff. Awesome. Now let's get back to work. <laughs> Slacker's been distracting enough. <laughs> True that. <laughs> cool. Um, use whatever you want out of that or none of it. I won't be offended. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go because just as he's home. That's right, he went out for date night, right? And did he did. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. Go out for date night. I'll be available at 9 o'clock. It's like, man, like. What comes after daytime? Yeah. It's like, didn't he just get married? That's true. I didn't think about like that. Maybe more but, time. I mean, I don't know. He's the one who said it's okay if it come over, so. You should ask him if he asked his wife. Um, I'm, yeah, well, he, be the he, said he, he said he talked to her about it. Um, but I wonder if she remembered. I've had conversations with my wife where I had the conversation in my head planning to have the conversation with her. Oh, yeah. And then I realized I never actually told her anything. I just went through my part and her part in my head and gave myself permission to do something stupid. Yeah, no, I, I, I totally know what you're saying. Um, 
But my last ex was extremely manipulative and also mm. would like lie to me about things that have been said. So I started to think I was crazy and not know when I had conversations with her. <laughs> so hopefully that's not the case with your wife, at least. No, no, yeah, but there is a language barrier. <laughs> oh, is she? Where's she from? She's in Singapore, oh, okay. but she speaks uh, British English, which is already a nightmare. <laughs> and then uh, she speaks Mandarin, Cantonese, Japanese, and some Korean. So nice, but just not English. Uh, no, she's English. Oh, British, British, British English. English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, which just makes it confusing because I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck that word is, but I don't want to admit that I don't know what the word is. So I'm like, man, like I know words. What's this? How long are you Uh, two ish years. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, it depends on which marriage you want to count. Like, did you marry in another country or something? Oh, uh, so we got married in Texas, but then we had a second ceremony because we needed to do one marriage for the paperwork, and then we need like. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well. However long you've known you wanted to get married and you got married ish is good enough for me. I don't care. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. We we got we've been en- engaged over two years ago and then we've been married now for well there was a visa process so it's like 18, 20 months. Okay. Yeah. So, so you'll be two, two years in December. Yeah. I just forget whatever the current day is. No, I hear you. Is it August? Is it fucking October? It's one of those. Exactly. I'm right. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this dude RTV the spy pen. Uh, some of them that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Usually it's an O-ring. Yeah, that's what I thought too, but... That is an O-ring. It's an O-ring with RTV. Jesus, man, just get the O-ring. I mean, no, because, you know... Oh, uh, cool. Well, if you want to, you can come see a Subaru engine bay real quick, but if not, it's all good. Probably not, because my wife might murder me. <laughs> Fair enough, <laughs> legit. She's right. Asian, so you never know what kind of legit, legit shit she knows. Fair enough. Come. Dude, they gave this to me because I drove that car. So cool. They were just like, they embraced. Yeah, I was like, this has a 4G63 engine in it from a Mitsubishi Eclipse. And they're like, but they're like, just for even saying that, here's a free pass. In. And I was <laughs> like, so yes. Crazy. So I got free lunch, uh, In and Out Burger, and then. Uh, I still haven't been in and out. I gotta do it on my way to Christian. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, it's just the experience. It's, you well, have it's, to have it's it. the secret menu that you need to Google before you fucking go. Oh, really? Because their menu is shit. Oh. Like you go there, it's like cheeseburger. Burger. I've heard you fries. eat like double double with animal fries. That's what people tell me. I don't even know. Yeah, so like I always do like the protein style, which is like they substitute the bun for lettuce, um, and then like it's like a lettuce wrapped burger thing, mm-hmm. and then which is kind of cool, just so it's like not as bready. Mm-hmm. Um, right. But well, you're, you're saying the shakes are pretty. 